Good morning. Today is Friday, July 8th, 2022. Yesterday was the yard site of Naomi Shemer. Naomi Shemer was the famous Israeli singer. Just a few weeks ago, we discussed her and the famous song that she wrote, Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, Jerusalem of Gold, as well as other famous songs, Lu Yehi, other famous songs. We talked about the central metaphor of that song. We talked about the circumstances in which she created it. And she was an amazing songwriter and performer. And she was really an amazing person. So, Sivan Rahab Meir interviewed her son, Ariel Horowitz. And he asked her, and she asked him to tell her a story about Naomi Shemer that had not yet been published, something that nobody knew about uh, this wonderful songwriter. And he told her the following story. He said that his mother, Naomi Shemer, the famous songwriter in Israel, she answered every letter that was sent to her. And she received many, many letters. Her songs were extremely moving in a certain sense, the national anthem of modern Israel. And she didn't just respond, but of course, this is before email, when you had to sit down with a pen and a piece of paper and you had to write it out. And she wrote long and uh, substantive responses, not just, you know, thanks or, you know, uh, I appreciate it or something kind of uh, uh, easy, but she wrote thought out responses to every single person that wrote to her because she was a person who, even though she achieved in Israel a large amount of celebrity and she was well known, but she did not act like a celebrity and she uh, was grateful when people contacted her, and she responded in kind. So her son, Ariel, remembers the following story. There was once a woman who was sitting Shiva for her son who fell in battle. Her son was a member of the IDF, the Israel Defense Force. And this woman, this mother, was sitting Shiva after he had passed away. Of course, this mother was not the first mother to be sitting Shiva for a son who had given his life to his country, nor the last sitting Shiva for young men, young women who give the lives for her country. But Ariel said that his mother took out a piece of paper and at the very top of the page, she wrote, I have no words. And then at the very bottom of the page, she signed her name, Naomi Shemer. Just the thoughtfulness and the sensitivity of how to be able to express yourself when there are no words. He told another story that she was in the hospital just two days before she passed away. And suddenly she turned to her son and she said, Ariel, we have a problem. So the son said, what, what's, what's the problem? And she said, Recently, I received a letter from a group of fourth grade students and I'm not going to be able to respond to them. So Ariel, I want you to find that letter and find that teacher and contact the teacher and ask the teacher to tell all of the students in her class that she is apologizing that she's not able to answer that letter because she's sick in the hospital. 
And she furthermore said to say to the children, to ask them, please do not send me any more letters because I will not be able to respond because I'm so sick. But she said to tell these children, who she did not know, of course, if they will say to heal him for me, then I will feel those blessings while I'm still alive. So Sivan asked Ariel Horowitz, Naomi Shemer's son, who is also a singer and a composer. She asked him what it was like to grow up in the shadow of such a famous and prominent songwriter. And Ariel said, I did not grow up in her shadow. I grew up in her light. What an amazing tribute to an incredible woman who has inspired generations of Israelis, of Jews all over the world. May her memory be a blessing. My friends, I want to wish you a great day and a wonderful Shabbos. And I look forward to seeing you soon in person.